Welcome back everyone to another round three battle. This is battle number three of round three or 27 overall in Matcha Madness. Today we have Ujimacha Taiko-san from Ocha and that will be going up against the only Rishi tea offering to make it into round three, the Semiodori. With that out of the way, let's get them brewed up and we'll give them a taste. Just like that, they're ready for drinking. Both look very green, very vibrant. I would say the Taiko Sun has a little bit more vibrancy, a little bit more oomph in its green. It's a little bit more muted on the crema for the Semiodori, but uh, both looking very good. Try a smell, bring water, young peas. Sweet, even just like a little bit of minerality coming through in the, in the aroma. Uh, a nice deep inhale, I get just a little bit of cinnamon at the end. And the Semiodori. Oh, much different. Very lot going on. Lots of strong aromas. Nothing bad. Just lots jumping out at me. I'm gonna put some names to this. Baking spices, baby spinach, cooked zucchini, wet hay. A lot more going on in the aroma in the Semiodori than the Taiko San. But uh, now let's give them a taste. Salut. Ultra smooth, creamy, buttered peas, chlorophyll, umami. Super smooth, no bitterness, no astringency. Talking a little bit here just to have my breath move over my tongue. No lingering unpleasantness. Very good. Semi adore now. Big hit of spices right up front. Baking spices, cinnamon, nutmeg. A little bit of bitterness, but it's it's uh, it's a nice bitterness, right? It's not overpowering and it quickly fades into uh, sweetness. Semi adore is a classic varietal for matcha. And I can see why it's just overall really nice. I mean, this is the only Rishi tea to make it into round three and for good reason. It's quite good. Ooh, nice big hit of that kind of cinnamony baking spice note. They are quite different. This The, the semi dory is more kind of aggressive. It's not bad, it's just more kind of in your face. Whereas the taiko san is more mellow, gentle, creamy, smooth. Very good, very good. I am going to give it to the taiko san. If you like more of kind of what I consider to be the more classic matcha flavors, I think you'll really like this Semiodori single cultivar. But my tastes tend to lean more towards the gentle, sweet, creamy, umami side, and in that case the taiko san is the clear winner in this case. With the Semiodori losing out in this round three battle, our bracket now looks like this. And I can tell you more about the Semiodori from Rishi Tea. So this is their 30 gram container, kind that I really like from them. Priced in at $35, so just over a dollar at $1.17 per gram. Season, this is one of those super accurate seasons. This was picked between May and June of 2018 and milled on September 14th, 2018. Cultivar, Semiodori. Origin, this comes from Kyushu Island in Japan. And then for the description. This limited edition matcha was made exclusively for Rishi matcha enthusiasts by organic artisan farmers in Kyushu Island, Japan. Matcha Semiodori for its creamy smooth taste and thick umami flavor. A little bit of a grammatical issue there. As you taste this matcha, look for the telltale signs of the Semiodori bright green cultivar. Lush, savory umami with an utterly smooth mouth feeling and subtle sweet fruity aroma. Brimming with amino acids, Semiodori is one of the most prized cultivars for matcha and gyokuro. Rich and creamy, first flush matcha highlighting the savory umami profile of the Semiodori cultivar. I feel like there was at least one other Semiodori in the roundup, and this was a much better expression of that cultivar, I believe. A, a very, very good Semiodori offering, but not quite enough to move it into the semifinals. We have just one more round three so we can get our last semi-finalist, and I will see you tomorrow for that battle. See you then.